Amen. Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins. I'm the proud pastor of the New Horizons Church, and we are so excited. Uh, we're going to be praying all month long about the power of God. And when I read in the scriptures about how God sends us his Holy Spirit, he sends us the Holy Spirit to empower us to do great things for him. For when we are charged with an assignment, we can't do it in our own flesh. We can't do it in our own strength. We can't do it in our own power. We need God's divine enablement to accomplish what he intends for us to accomplish. So all month long, we're praying about our relationship to the Holy Spirit and us relying on him to get things done for God. And so today we're going to be praying from Acts chapter 10. In verse 38 from the New King James Version of God's word, here's what it says. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. For God was with him. Today we want to ask God for three things. Number one, we want to ask God to anoint us with his Holy Spirit. We want to ask God to anoint us with power to do good. And we want to ask God to be with us wherever we go. Come on, let's pray. Lord God in heaven, we love you and we honor you. and We bless you and praise you. We magnify you. Lord, we extol you. God, we lift you up and we say you are great and you are greatly to be praised. Lord, we declare that this is the day that you have made. Lord, we want to be found rejoicing and being glad in it. Lord, we thank you for last night's lying down. We thank you that last night was not our last night, but we get another opportunity to get it right today. We thank you that as we woke up this morning, we we found new mercies for a new day. We thank you for the forgiveness of our sin and the purifying of our own, all of our unrighteousness because of the death, the burial, and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father God, we thank you and bless you for sending Jesus to die on the cross for our sins and to being raised from the dead. And we thank you that you raised him by the power of the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Father, for hearing Jesus' request and granting that request and sending us the third person in the Godhead, sending us the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for being real in our lives. We thank you for allowing us to relate to you. We thank you for the privilege of relying on you. And we thank you for the powerful resources you provide to us. So, Lord, we just pray for an anointing of the Holy Spirit today. We pray that from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet, we would be controlled and led and inspired and infused and imbued by the person of the Holy Spirit. Lord, we love you and we honor you. Help us to hear your voice today. Holy Spirit, speak to us in still, small voices. Holy Spirit, illuminate the word of God in our lives. Holy Spirit, amplify the word of God in our lives above all of the other noise, above all of the other sounds, above all of the other voices, make the word of God prominent and preeminent in our lives today. Holy Spirit, bring back to our remembrance the word that has been hidden in our hearts that we might not sin against you. Holy Spirit, let the meditations of our hearts and the words of our mouth be acceptable in your sight. Jesus, you are our strength and you are our redeemer. Holy Spirit, we pray that you would anoint us with power to do good. Lord, there's so much evil around us. There's so much uh, mayhem and madness and misery around us, Lord. But if you would anoint us, we can do good even in bad situations. Lord, anoint us to do good in our families. Lord, anoint us today to do good on our jobs. Lord, anoint us today to do good in our communities. Lord, anoint us today to do good where other where evil does abound. 
Lord, you said where sin does abound, grace does much more abound. So, Lord, anoint us that we might be able to be your sons and daughters, that we might be able to be the sons of light, that we might be able to be a light in a dark world. God, anoint us to do good even in bad situations. And we pray, oh God, that you would be with us wherever we go. Lord, you were with Jesus wherever he went. And Lord, we thank and praise you that you would be with us wherever we go today. Lord, bless our coming in and bless our going out. Lord, bless us in our homes. Lord, bless us on our jobs. Lord, bless us as we're in the street taking care of business. Bless us in the marketplace. Bless us in our schools. Bless us in hospital rooms. Bless us in educational facilities. God, bless us on our in our cars. Lord, bless us as we walk in our neighborhoods, wherever we go. Lord, bless us with your presence. Lord, let us feel your presence. Let us be sensitive to your presence in our life today. Lord, let us not grieve the Holy Spirit. Lord, let us not turn our backs on him. Let us not turn a deaf ear to his words. Let the church hear what the spirit is saying to the church. Lord, we want to experience your presence everywhere we go. Lord, you lead us and guide us. Lord, be our rear guard today. Lord, there's so many things that we want to accomplish for you. Help us to do that through the enablement and the empowerment and the power and the presence and the person of your Holy Spirit in our lives. And for that, God, we will be forever grateful. We will be forever thankful in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. What a privilege it is to pray to the Lord our God for his power operating in our life. And his power operates when we are connected to his Holy Spirit. So my prayer for you today, according to Acts chapter 10, 38, how good or excuse me, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil for God was with him. My prayers today that God would be with you wherever you go. We'll be back tomorrow to continue to pray for you until then be victorious. God bless.